today's lecture is a continuation of last lecture in last lecture we have discussed how to find out the strength of a bolt uh, and what will be the critical bolt and what is the maximum load coming to a particular bolt when the load is lying in the plane of joint. So, bolt arrangement first we have decided and we have found what are the total load is coming uh, means total load means eccentric load then due to eccentricity what is the moment and what is the uh, load in each bolt due to direct load and due to moment. Then we found the resultant of the uh, forces uh, acting on different bolt, we found the maximum load coming on a particular bolt, then uh, we see whether it is exceeding the uh, design strength of that particular bolt or not, if it is exceeding we have to redesign means the bolt is not safe and if it is not exceeding then fine means it is safe. But now today we will discuss that how to design a bolt group means you have been given load then what should be the number of bolt first we have to find out what should be the number of bolt then what will be the arrangement means how many lines of bolt we have given and how many bolt we have we will be giving in each line what will be the pitch distance what will be the edge distance what will be spacing I means horizontal spacing so all those things will be will have to be decided. Now, it is not easy to find out the number of bolt at the very beginning, because uh, number of bolt uh, will be deciding on two factors, one is the due to direct load, we can find out number of bolt is equal to direct load divided by uh, means bolt strength, but that bolt is going to be acted as also uh, the moment. So, from moment point of view also we have to calculate. So, that means the resultant we have to know, unless we know the resultant force coming into a particular bolt, we will not be able to find out the design, right. So, for doing that, we have to go with certain trial and error basis, means with certain trial, with certain approximate calculation, we have to find out what is the total number of bolt approximately required and then uh, we will make an arrangement, trial arrangement, then we will see that uh, whether with this particular number of bolt and with that arrangement whether the bolt group is safe or not. That means, the critical bolt uh, strength is more than the uh, critical bolt strength uh, critical bolt forces is more than the uh, bolt strength or not. If uh, 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 bolt forces are coming more than the string, then the uh, design is unsafe. So, we have to rearrange the bolt group uh, or we have to increase the number of bolt, then we will find out, right. So, if we see here that uh, for this case we will decide load lying in plane of bolted joint. So, here say for example, we have given say 4 bolt in each line and total number of bolt are 8, right. So, with this we if we have a value of p here, then whether this is safe or not that we can find out in from earlier lecture, but if we have the value of p, then what will be the number of bolt that means, whether it is 4 or 3 or 8 how do we decide that we will try to discuss. So, first we will discuss about the design procedure, then we will go through one example, so that we will be able to understand. So, design procedure if we see what we will do, first we will assume a suitable diameter of bolt, we have to assume a suitable diameter of bolt uh, depending on the availability or if uh, if we want the lesser length of the joint, then we have to make bigger diameter, otherwise we can go for small diameter. Also it depends on the thickness of the uh, member, so depending on that we will decide the diameter of bolt. 
then next step is we will find out the strength of one bolt in shear bearing and get bolt value B S D or V S D actually this will be V S D right. So, we will find out the okay, this is B S D uh, let us make B S D is the bolt value right. So, uh, how do we find out this shear and bearing this can be found uh, whether it is double shear or single shear we have to know then we have to find out whether it is HSFG bolt or uh, whether it is bearing type bolt that we have to know. Then uh, when we will be going for bearing um, stress we have to know what is the edge distance, what is the pitch distance and accordingly we have to find out the KB the constant value of uh, uh, KB then we have to find out the bearing strength right. So, uh, for finding out the bearing strength we have to find out first the uh, pitch and edge distance as well as the type of bolt whether it is bearing type or shearing type mean, sorry uh, friction type depending on that we will be able to calculate the strength of the bolt. Once it is calculated then we can use this formula if p is the external load direct load then p by b s d is equal to the number of bolt. So, when we will use this formula we will use if moment coming on the joint is much less compared to the direct load that means, if eccentricity is quite less and moment is coming therefore, is less then we can use simply this n is equal to p by s d to find approximate number of bolts. So, approximate number of bolts we can find out from this equation that is p is equal, uh, n is equal to p by b s d when the moment is comparatively much less than the direct load. When moment will be less when if the eccentricity is less then moment will be less. Then what we will do we will increase the number of bolts to a certain percentages that how much percentages say 50 percent or maybe 100 percent maybe 25 percent it depends on the designer's experience from designer from that experience they can understand that how much percentage should be increased to make the total number of bolts and whether it is it will be in two or more vertical lines that will be also have to decide it means in earlier lecture I have shown uh, we had two um, vertical lines right. So, it may be two or more. So, with a suitable spacing we have to make. So, we will increase the number of bolt with a certain percentage to find out the total number of bolt for checking the uh, strength means uh, strength of the bolt joint right. And another case is if moment on the joint is much high compared to direct load that means, if eccentricity is high then we will not use the earlier formula we will use this formula n is equal to 6 m by n dash into p into b s d. Right. So, from moment equation we will try to find out that is n is equal to square root of 6 m by n dash into p into b s d where b s d is the bolt strength and moment m is equal to p into e and this small p is the pitch distance and n dash is the number of vertical lines n dash is the number of vertical lines means if we have bolt like this say like this if we have bolt. So, in this case number of vertical lines are 1, 2, 3. So, in this case it will be 3. Then what we will do? We will increase the number of bolts to a certain percentages and then arrange the number of bolts per line. So, in this case also similar thing we will do that we will increase the number of bolts to a certain percentage again this depends uh, means from the uh, depends on the uh, designer's experience and also if if we see the eccentricity is much higher uh, then the moment will be more much more. So, in that case we have to uh, take decision accordingly right. So, once we consider some approximate number of bolts we will make the arrangement of bolts 
then we will find out the resultant force for the critical bolt we will we'll have to calculate. That means, what we will do? We will calculate the resultant force in uh, different bolt. We will see in which bolt it may come more. right? If we cannot uh, predict that, then we have to calculate bolt to bolt means in each bolt we have to calculate or in few bolts we have to calculate because few bolts will be similar uh, uh, forces will be developed. So, we will calculate the uh, resultant force in few bolts and we will see what is the maximum force coming on that bolt. Then we will see the resultant force in the critical bolt is less than the bolt value or not. If it is less than the bolt value then the join is safe. That means, if the resultant force in the critical bolt is less than the bolt value then the joint is safe. That means, the arrangement whatever we have done is correct. The arrangement means in terms of number of bolts and in terms of uh, arrangement means number of bolts, number of bolt line, pitch distance, edge distance and spacing between two bolt lines. Right. So, these arrangements are correct. If it is not, if the bolt value is coming uh, sorry the uh, forces in bolt is coming more than the bolt value, then we have to redesign. That means, we have to either increase the number of bolt or we have to rearrange the bolt in such a way that the uh, reaction force on the bolt is coming less than the bolt strength. So, if it is, so what we will do? We will either increase the number of bolts per line or we will uh, change the um, bolt orientation means its uh, different uh, uh, positions means uh, either uh, number of bolts per line will change uh, or we will change the spacing and uh, edge distance and pitch and we will check whether the critical bolt force is coming less than the bolt value. In this way, we will design the entire process. So, this will be clear if we go through one example. So, let us go through this example. Right. So, this example is that design a bolted bracket connection to transfer an end reaction of 300 kilo Newton with an eccentricity of 170 millimeter due to factor load as shown in the figure. Right. Figure is shown here, you can see the figure, the 300 load, 300 kilo Newton load is given and eccentricity is given 170 millimeter and the steel used is of grade of AP 410 and use 20 mm diameter of bolt of grade 4.6 that means, bearing type of bolt and the thickness of bracket blades is 10 mm and the column section is ISHB 200 at 365.91 Newton per meter. So, this is the example we will try to solve that means, you have been given 300 kilo Newton of load acting at an eccentricity of 170 millimeter and this load is acting on a bracket of uh, 10 mm thick bracket and this bracket is connected with a ISHB 200 uh, I section column. right? So, now we have to design a bearing type of bolt to withstand this 300 kilo Newton. So, we do not know how many bolts will be provided here and we do not know how many lines will be provided, both lines will be provided here, we do not have anything. So, we have to first find out the approximate number and then we have to arrange with increase of certain number of bolts and then we have to check whether it is ok or not. So, through this example we will learn how to do it. Okay. Now, if we solve this problem, let us see stage by stage what to do. Here we know that F u is given as 410 MPa 
and FUB is given 400 MPa, gamma MB we know 1.25, here gauge distance is 100 mm and thickness of flange of ISHB 200 thickness of flange is given as 9 mm. Right. Now, diameter of bolt is given 20 mm. So, diameter of hole will be 22 mm as per table 19 and minimum edge distance will be 1.5 times D 0. So, it is coming 33 and maximum pitch distance sorry minimum pitch distance will be 2.5 into 20. So, it is 50 mm. So, let us assume edge distance as 35 and pitch distance as 16. So, we will assume that edge distance of 35 mm and pitch distance of 60 mm and assuming that shear plane um, is going through the threads. So, A n b we can find out that is 0 0.78 into pi by 4 into 20 square to be in safe side we will consider uh, uh, shear plane is uh, going through the threads unless it is mentioned we can consider this and this will be 245 millimeter square. So, these are the some preliminary data uh, we have to calculate for calculating the bolt value. Now, bolt value in single shear we can find out that is f u b by root 3 gamma m b into n n to a n b plus n s we can make 0 right. So, if we put those value we can find out the value of uh, bolt means strength of bolt in single shear. 1 to 245. So, this is coming 45.26 kilo newton and uh, strength of bolt in bearing V d P b we can calculate 2.5 into k b into d into t into f u by gamma m b right. So, here k b will be basically e by 3 d 0 and then p by 3 d 0 minus 0 0.25 and f u b by f u and 1. So, list of this will become k b we will find out if you calculate at that will be point 53 right 0.53 kb value will come 0.53 so if we put those value then we can find out the value of bearing strength of the bolt so here d will be 20 t will be the thickness of the lesser one so that is 9 and if u is this i can make into kilo newton so I can find out this value as 78.23 kilo newton, right. So, V S D value that means strength of bolt design strength of bolt V S D will become lesser of these two V D S B and V D P B that is uh, 45.26 and 78.23. So, lesser of this will be 45.26 kilo newton. So, this is the value we got. Now, we have now we have to design. So, we have to decide the number of bolt line. So, maybe we can start with uh, two bolt line we can start. So, if we do so then accordingly we can find out the value. Now, m value the moment due to eccentricity we can find out 
this is P into E, E is 170 millimeter. So, 51000 kilo Newton millimeter, right. So, now number of bolts required. So, number of bolts we can find out from this moment formula 6 m by P into N dash into V S D. So, here we have considered n is equal to 2 n dash that number of boat line we are considering 2 this is our assumptions right. So, if we put this value 6 into m 51 0 0 0 kilo Newton millimeter by P 60 into 2 into so P which we have considered 60 into 45.26. So, if we calculate we will get 7.51. So, we can assume that 8 number of bolts can be used, but this is not sufficient because 8 number of bolts can withstand the moment only. We have to withstand the direct load also. So, number of bolts we have to increase because uh, the bolts will be exerted the force due to moment and due to direct force. So, uh, we have to increase the number of bolts say for example, this case we are increasing number of bolts up to say 16. That means, in each row we can provide 8 bolts. If we make 2 bolt line then say total number of 16 bolts we can provide and we can see whether this bolt group this proposed bolt group is sufficient to take care the load or not. Right. So, this is 300 kilo Newton and this is 170 millimeter right and this value will be gauge was 100. So, this will be 50 mm, this is 100 mm right and we have considered this as 60. Okay. So, now we will find out the bold value of the extreme one right of the extreme one we will find out because that will be the critical one. So, here we can see that F 1 if this is number 1 bolt then F 1 will be P by N right. So, here it is 300 by 16. So, this is coming 18.75 kilo Newton this is F 1 F 1 is the load due uh, force on the bolt due to direct load and F 2 we can find out that will be P into E that is moment into R by summation R square R means R 1 for this bolt number 1 bolt right. Like this bolt, this bolt, this bolt and this extreme 4 bolts will have same um, forces. Okay. So, now we have to find out R value. R 1 will be here 210 square plus 50 square because this is 30, this is 60, 60 and 60. So, 60 into 3 plus 30, this is coming 210 and this is 50, right. So, after calculating we can get this value R 1 as 215.87 millimeter. Similarly, summation R square you can find out this will be 4 numbers each bolt will be. So, this will be 210 square plus 50 square for extreme 4 bolt then 150 square plus 50 square then 90 square plus 50 square then 30 square plus 50 square. Right. 
fifty square. So this is what summation r square will be. So after calculating, we can find out the summation r square value as three four two four zero zero millimeter square. Okay. So once we find out, now we can find out the value of f two means f m. Right. So f m at number one volt will become three hundred into one seventy. That is m m into r r is two hundred fifteen point eight seven m r by summation r square. Summation r square will be three four two four zero zero. So this is becoming thirty two point one five kilonewton. So in number one volt, one load is coming of eighteen point seventy five kilonewton, and another load due to moment is coming thirty two point one five kilonewton. Now we have to make resultant. Resultant will be of these two forces acting at a angle of theta. Now this angle of theta we have to find out. Now here, if we see, cos theta will be will be horizontal distance 50 by vertical distance. Uh, sorry, radial distance. Radial distance will be 210 square plus 50 square. So this will be 0.232. So resultant force, say F R, will become F A square plus F M one square plus two F A F M one cos theta equal to. We can put this value as F A square is eighteen point seven five. FM is thirty two point one five plus two into eighteen point seven five into thirty two point one five into cos theta. Cos theta value is zero point two three two. So this value, if we calculate, we'll get forty point eight kilonewton, which is less than the strength of the bolt, that is forty five point two six kilonewton. That means the connection is safe, right? So this is how we can design a bolt group, and we can find out the connection whether it is safe or not, right? So here you you may see that we have checked with the extreme bolt, extreme one. So that is because uh, the extreme oil. In extreme one, the maximum um, force due to moment will develop. So that we have to make calculation, and then we have to check. However, uh, we can check the another one also. That means if we see, I am showing you it in the screen. Uh, Yeah, the arrangement is something like this. Say this is the number one bolt. So for this we are checking. Also we have to check for this, and we have to check for this, and we have to check for this, right? Others will be same. So if we check for this four, the and we if we find out the critical one, then we can see whether the proposed. Arrangement of bolt and proposed number, whether it is okay or not, right? This uh, arrangement also can be changed little, means to uh, make use of uh, FM value as different. Means FM value is coming here little more, that can be reduced slightly if we change the. This p p value suitable, then also f m value slightly will be reduced. 
but always it is suggested that you cannot change much more. So, if the design strength of bolt is quite less than the uh, force coming on the bolt, then it is better to increase the number of bolt in place of in changing the pitch distance or edge distance or the spacing, because it will not change much. It is if it is slightly more means if the forces coming on the bolt is slightly more than the bolt strength, then we may not increase the number of bolt. In that case, if you rearrange the bolt, then you can get the uh, value means you can uh, make the design shape that is possible. So, this is what we have discussed today to summarize once again let me conclude that design of a x means bolt group due to eccentric load lying in the plane of joint can be done by trial and error method. We can find out the approximate number of bolt either from force or from moment, then we can increase a certain number of bolt on the basis of that approximate number and then we can arrange the bolt group means bolts in a particular way. Once it is arranged, then we have to check whether that bolts are means bolts are safe or not. That means, the forces on a critical bolt is coming less than the bearing uh, less than the bolt strength or not. If it is not, then we have to redesign, we have to increase the number of bolt or we have to change the orientation means uh, position of the bolts in terms of spacing and pitch and edge or if it is safe, then we can stick to that connections. Right. Thank you.